Okay guys, the time has finally come. We're gonna cook some fish. Now I'm not gonna show the actual killing of these fish. There's no need for that I don't think. And we don't need to hurt anybody's little girl feelings. So right now I'll take care of these guys and then we'll go gather up some stuff that we need. We're gonna steam these, we're not going to uh, we're not going to grill them over charcoal like the most popular way. I'll probably do a video some other time on that. Today we're having steamed fish. We have four in here. I just want to get them out of this tub and into the fridge. All right, we'll be back when we're uh, ready to cook, maybe. As a little side note here, what we have here is eggs the biggest of the fish had eggs in there this is about half of them I've never seen green eggs before but these are eggs for sure so there is an opportunity here to breed fish that's interesting and confirmed the big girl was carrying eggs Okay, let's get an actual measurement on these now that they're not flopping around. Let's see what how big they actually are. Right there. Whoa, it just makes a foot, huh? Foot and a quarter. That's the biggest one. Just about 11 inches. You know the market size we measured before in a different video of day 9 I think was around 9 inches. This one's 10. You know just that's the big fish to buy in the market. Yeah I know somebody's gonna say my catfish are bigger than that. And they're a different variety. Remember that huh? Not all catfish are made equal. This the smallest one, nine and a half. So what's that? Twelve, eleven, ten, and nine and a half. <laughs> cool. Now I'm not gonna show cooking these. We already did a catfish steam catfish video. I'll put a link to that if you're interested on how we do it. We'll show them when we're when they're done. So there it is, the first catfish harvest, homegrown catfish. Head like a rock. Okay, guys, there it is, the first one. Look at that. Huh? some uh, this is called flowering pak choy it has flowers on it <laughs> little yellow flowers amazing this stuff from, fresh from the garden this grew in the crazy temperatures we have here there hasn't been a day in I don't know how long. It's been almost two months straight of 40 degrees. That's over 100 Fahrenheit. Spice it up a little bit. Look at that, huh? Nice looking fish. Fish is very mild, very soft.
Okay, let's talk about the catfish farm. You now somebody's gonna say, that's not a farm. It grew fish, which became food. So to me, that's a farm. Uh, lessons learned. They don't grow as fast as everyone thinks they do. This has been 10 months. 10 months in the making. This was a female. From what I read, I can't remember who sent me the website. It's a pretty good website, but it's blocked in Thailand. These fish become sexually mature at 12 inches. This one had eggs in her. She's 12 inches, so. So that's right. So there is a chance of actually breeding these fish. That's interesting. So maybe we'll do that. We don't know. Hard to say. And just a quick message to all the people that said this can't be done. And I still get those comments. Not very often anymore. I think that first video is slowing down a lot now. I don't get a lot of comments anyway. But to all the people that say this can't be done. There it is, dumbass. If you don't try, it don't happen. That's guaranteed. You don't know if you don't try. And if you don't try, it's guaranteed not to work. It worked. Look at that. No aeration, no filter, and we have fish in a tiny tank. So there, take that. To all the people who call me an idiot. <laughs> and there has been a lot. <laughs> there has definitely been a lot. I think the best way to do this would be have maybe even a part-time run it during the day like maybe even off a solar pump as a, a solids filter to keep some of the solids out of the water we wouldn't have to do as many water changes like I say I haven't had to throw away any water we've used at all it's watered the garden the entire time but we're coming up to a rainy season here and then Okay, I'll get rainwater, so I'll be able to do water changes with rainwater, that's good. But we'll be throwing away the water because the garden won't be able to take anymore. Probably anyway, if it's a good rainy season. So some kind of solid filter would be nice. Bigger tank. Yeah, bigger tank would be good. But I think this is pretty cool. Homegrown fish. Literally 10 feet from the front door. Well, maybe. 10 feet from the kitchen. Cool as that, huh? This has been very little work. You know, I've changed the water that once in a while. It was going out before. But, I like it. You know, I enjoy it. I enjoy playing with the fish, so it's not a, it's not work. I come out here at night normally when it's cooled off. I water the garden, top up the fish, play with the fish. And that's a quail.
<laughs> the fish tank is right behind me. Huh? I can hear the fish in there jumping. I'm going to answer uh, a couple of common questions. I know I've done a Q&A on this before, but it seems nobody wants to watch that video. There is no chlorine in the water here. So we don't have to worry about that. It's well water. Bought the fish off the back of a truck. If you want better answers, update number 12. That's where they're at. What else? Are you an idiot? I didn't answer that one in number 12, I don't think. No, I'm not an idiot. I'm just a guy that likes to try different things. Experiment. <laughs> I tell ya, there's some strange people on YouTube. <laughs> Maybe I'm one of them. Man, that's good. I'm obviously not going to be doing a video every time I harvest fish. I'll harvest them as, as they're big enough to eat now. Probably at the 10 inch mark or something like that. But I won't be doing a harvest video every time. I might do, uh, do one cooking video. Cooking these over charcoal. That's the most common way that, that they're eating around here. You can buy these on the, on the street cooked over charcoal and they run a big skewer down the stomach to keep them straight a bamboo skewer so maybe we'll try that I've never done I never cooked them that way we've been doing a lot of steamed fish this year I really enjoy it it's about as healthy a, a way you could cook and it's insanely flavorful This Thai style steamed fish. So if you haven't seen the steamed fish video, go check it out. It's actually, we did one with catfish and one with snakehead. Snakehead is delicious, man. Let me get the big snakehead that's really thick. Are really good. Better than a catfish for sure. Better than tilapia. These do have a lot of bones. In the normal backbone and then on all the fins, like they have a fin that runs basically all the way around them. So that's all bone. But it's not a big deal. I just suck the meat off.
It's been a crazy loud morning here today. But right now it's just me and nature. Wife's gone. Seems like the village is quiet. The dog is biting my foot. <laughs> A little breeze coming through, that's good. Like this table is outside. I don't have an actual kitchen table in the house. When I built the house, the plans that I went off of are the ones that I copied. I, I totally removed the, the dining room or where the kitchen table would be. It was small, would be awkward, and by doing that I put the door there instead of in the kitchen, the back door made the, made the kitchen quite a bit bigger. Because at my other house we have a nice table, chairs, everything. We never ever ate there. So this table is outside. So I'm sitting outside enjoying the breeze which is Unusual. Well, we get wind at night. It's still hot. But we get wind at night, not much during the day. We're getting down to the, to the bones. Pretty amazing, huh? Not one thing on this plate wasn't homegrown. Considering how poor we do in the garden, that's amazing. But we'll get this gardening thing figured out once and eventually. Not much to eat on the head on these. You can see this is all bone. The cheeks. Not much for teeth on these. It's like it's like sandpaper. Really, really rough, coarse sandpaper, but not much for teeth. I don't know how they can can eat everything. They'll eat just about anything. Oh, one more thing. They didn't eat the big ones didn't eat the small ones, which is surprising to me. I thought they would, but it didn't happen. There's still a little tiny fish in there. As you can see from the last update, update 15, there's still tiny fish. But uh, this one should have been out to eat them easily. Oh, that was good. Okay guys, there it is. First fish from the catfish farm. A farm that wasn't going to work. Man, that was delicious. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching.